I have an Automatic Products 112 behind me, and the great thing about the Automatic Products line of equipment is that the shelves come in and out of the machine almost identical across their entire line, barring from the 4,000 to the 7,000, 6,000, moving on up to the 111, the 112, the 113, moving into the 121, the 122, and 123 series, into the studios, as well into the 131, 132, 133, and into finally into the 931, 932, and 933 series machines. All those shelves actually come out the exact same way. That's a great thing, because you only have to know on this particular brand one way to get the shelf out. So on autom most automatic product machines, there is gonna be a latch on the left and right hand side of the trays that you have to push down in order to get lift and pull the tray out to get it loaded. So if I wanted to pull this tray out, I lift, push down the latches, I pull forward, I come to a stop, tray comes down and this allows me to load it. Now to get the tray out, we almost have to do the same thing, but we need to move those latches, we have to flip them backwards. Now the reasoning for these latches is that on automatic products machines, the trays have a, have a plug on the back of the tray and there's a socket in the back of the cabinet. So when you push the tray in, they can, the connection is made to the socket from the plug of the machine. So if you did not have these latches here and someone was to come out the machine and start shaking it, they can, might work the tray forward, which would then unplug the tray from the back of the cabinet, rendering all the motors useless. So you have to have those latches in there to keep the trays locked in. Now, to get the tray out, we're going to flip those latches backwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the right side and the left side here of the second tray, which is our B tray. Now that those latches are flipped backwards, I'm simply going to lift the tray up a little bit and pull it out. Now the tricky part here is, these latches are annoying whenever you have to remove the tray. If you make any sort of slight bump on the machine as you're trying to get the tray out, the latches will just naturally flip back forward, making it very difficult to get the tray out. So I'm going to lift the tray. I'm gonna grab it from the center here. I'm gonna lift up very gently. I'm gonna pull forward. And as I'm pulling forward, I'm gonna keep the tray horizontal or parallel to the ground until it comes to a stop. Now naturally we wanted to load it, we just simply drop the tray down, but here I'm gonna keep it level and I'm going to now lift up on the tray just a bit, pull forward, and the tray's now gonna come unlatched, and here I can pull the tray out completely. Now looking on the back of the tray, you can see that we have our socket, as well as our VEN motors. So if you ever needed to troubleshoot or you may have a wire that comes loose or you may need to replace a VEN motor, this is how you can easily take the tray out to make those adjustments or fixes. If you'd like to help support the Venom Machine support channel, I really appreciate if you could hit the like and subscribe button. If you'd like to extend that support, in the description below, I have some affiliate links. For example, I currently have an affiliate link to the NIAX online store where you can purchase a credit card reader such as this VPOS Touch and other accessories. If you use the coupon code VMS at checkout, you'll receive a discount and I will be compensated slightly at no extra cost to you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the topic at hand. Now to get the tray back in, we're simply gonna take the real wheels here on the right and the left hand side and we're going to let them rest into the notch here. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip back the latches. I'm gonna grab the tray here in the back, finish the center like this. Now I got the back wheels on the rails. I'm gonna lift the tray up back into a, almost a horizontal position, slide it in. Tray goes up just a bit and then slide the tray all the way back in and lock down the latches. So that shows you how easy it is to actually remove the tray. Now I do recommend if you do need to remove a tray from the machine that you take all the product out. As well, this machine is currently unplugged or turned off. You can do this with the power on or off on your machine, it really doesn't matter. So that shows you how you get the trays out of an automatic product series snack machine.